Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Today's gonna be a different video. It's gonna show my hometown of Kalihi. It's a pretty big area. If you're not familiar, Kalihi is uh, bordered between downtown Honolulu. It's still part of Honolulu. And then there's the airport. And if you go north, it's more like the Pali side. So we're gonna start off with something that's different. A lot of people think Kalihi is very hustle and bustle, ghetto, uh, very uh, different to live in, I guess. Um, but if you go all the way at the end of the valley, I'm going to make it real quick because there's no parking here, but um, the dead end has beautiful just greenery and the Kalihi stream here. So it is really peaceful. There is a hike to the ice ponds there. You're not allowed to go there and you're not supposed to park there. Over there is a dead end and there's a gate and I have a story about that. If you notice, there's only one overpass by Leaky Leaky Highway, and that's the Burmeister overpass, they call it. It's Mr. Burmeister. He lived over there, and there's a gate to get to his house. And that overpass was made for him because they made the highway, and it went through and separated his house and took away the roadway. So we're going to go explore Kalihi, more on the downtown bustling side, and see all the different places and different memories that might come to your mind if you ever visited here or ever lived here. A lot of people think that Kalihi is just full of buildings, traffic, and different public housings. But if you go all the way into the valley, there's beautiful mountains that are green. And if you go really deep in the valley, it's almost like um, rainforest-like. And very, very beautiful and peaceful if you ever get to that side of Kalihi. And not many people know that there is a Hongguanji at the end of the valley. Um, this is pretty much it. It's very beautiful. Nice grounds here. I'm not sure if you can see. But um, has the beautiful mountains in the background. I'm in my car doing this because there is absolutely no parking here. It's a very small, windy road if you can see. But we'll just keep working from the valley and going towards town. So in the valley, there is the pink market and it stands out as one of the very old school markets. It's actually the valley market, but people call it the pink market here in the valley on Kalihi Street and it has this old school pink building here. We'll go inside after this. If you go on this other side, it's super crowded because it is the very first Alejandro's. They're very famous and they have a place, I believe in Waianae, not sure it's still there, but they have another place that's doing really well in um, on Kapahulu. So that's Alejandro's, the original. They do Mexican food, really nice man. We used to come here a lot for breakfast. They used to have a cafe right there, but it closed down and there's a laundromat in here. So really popular with Fort Shafter military guys and other locals. So let's go inside the pink market and see what is in there. It's pretty much just a old school mom and pop market. There's a lot of um, old school markets in Kalihi and we'll just see what they have. Hello. We have your typical sodas, um, ice cream, even some chicken. Goods and shirts. Oh, even kimchi and pickled mango. Wow. Lao Lao, Portuguese sausage, your delicious beer, and just some groceries and even some car stuff and um, toys. This kind of stuff reminds me of being a kid because I always wanted to go to the store and buy toys. Those cheap little 
toys that always break, but I'll get a soda from here and we'll continue on. All right, we're now in the heart of Kalihi, I guess. That's uh, the famous Sunny's Mart where you get your Samoan and Pali food. The entrance to KPT, Lena Puni Street is over there. This little strip mall has been here forever. You've got the bakery that makes great Pani Popo over here, Samoan Bakery. And um, you've got North Star, good Filipino food, Cam Drive-In. used to be Chan's, I believe. And um, why I came here is because this used to be PNP Market. I'm gonna put an old picture if I can find one. And uh, my grandma used to come here once in a while. We are more on the Kalihikai side, on the east side of Kalihi. But once in a great while, she'd shop here for groceries. And that is the old PNP market. And now it's a Kokua Kalihi Valley services. It's got social services, a dentist in there, and another building over there uh, for people that need some services uh, that are in need, like doctors and stuff, and it doesn't cost as much. But yeah, um, I bring this up because if you lived here before and moved away, a lot of things changed. So I have a lot of viewers that have lived here and they moved away from Honolulu or Kalihi, and that's what it was. And we'll keep moving on. Okay, we're here. Infamous KPT stands for Kuhio Park Terrace. It's got a different name now. Uh, you can't enter here, they have a guard at the shack, but I have special uh, entrance privileges, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, it's not as bad as you think. Maybe at night you don't belong here, but if you treat people with respect, they'll be respectful to you. Uh, in the foreground is building A, we pass building B. I did a video, my very first video in Kalihi about food. There is a Manapua man in the back of building A. Um, I won't be going there because I already showed it, but you can get some Ono grinds over there if you have the privilege to enter here. If you walk through here on foot, you can enter, but you definitely can't drive in here unless you have a reason to be in here and you live here. But this is pretty much KPT. There's Lina Puni Elementary to the right. And if you keep going in this loop, it'll take you out to Rose Street. And um, that's pretty much it. There's the low rises of KPT. Uh, everybody thinks it's just the two towers, but there's many low rises here that people live in as well. Okay, we're here at the Kamehameha Shopping Center. Everybody should know that place if you are from Kalihi. Um, still standing here today, been here for a long time, and we're going to go over some memories that were here. And I'm here on the top of the garage, I guess. Let me flip it around. So this is the garage. This never used to be here. It used to just be one parking lot that was flat, and it got so busy and popular that they had to build this garage. But I remember coming here as a kid, there was no garage and that never existed either. Here, like the Starbucks and Panda Express and stuff, that was not there. Over there, you see McDonald's and on the other side is Bishop Museum and Kapolama Elementary. We're gonna go downstairs. McDonald's used to be Kenny's Burger House. A lot of you remember that. I remember going there for burgers and fries. I remember as a kid, I didn't really like it. It was a lot of mustard in there, but now I appreciate it as a, I guess, adult, because it's gone. Over there was the burger house. It's now a McDonald's. It's been gone for a long time, Kenny's. And what stood there was the regular Kenny's, which is now Campbell Restaurant. So sadly, here's a McDonald's over there where the territorial savings bank around this area was the crack seed store as well if you remember that that man retired a while ago and that's gone we'll go this way and we'll work ourselves around the shopping center but over here we used to bank here that's American Savings Bank that used to be Han Fed anybody remember Han Fed the only thing that still is here today on this side is the Vision Center 
I went there in fourth grade to get my first glasses because I'm blind as a bat. Finance Factors was here. You can tell how old the sign is. And the Hawaii National Bank is still here. Campbell used to be Kenny's restaurant. That also closed down. Kenny's actually was really big here. They had the restaurant, the burger house over there, and right next door where the l l was used to be Kenny's Deli. I remember they would sell like mac salad and stuff you could take home. So this is Campbell Restaurant and we're gonna go in and try some of their food. Campbell Restaurant replaced the old Kenny's. They serve similar items that Kenny's used to serve. The name comes from the former bowling alley that was located across the street from Kamehameha Shopping Center that was famous for their oxtail soup. Besides oxtail soup, you should try their oxtail ramen. Full of rich broth, two oxtails, chewy ramen noodles, and kamaboku with cilantro, green onions, and a side of ginger. And there's all these places. I believe T-Mobile used to be Radio Shack. That's pretty crazy, huh? And the Baskin and Robbins is still there. That was there when I was a kid. I remember on the side of Star Market used to be a Jesse's coffee shop. I think Jesse's moved on Dillingham near Coho Street. It's still there. And then this is Time Supermarket, used to be Star Market. Over here where Bale Sandwich is used to be Red Baron Pizza. Anybody remember that one? There's Fun Factory. I believe there used to be a bowling alley, or no, I'm sorry, a theater in here. I think Fun Factory was where the theater was a long time ago. And there's Liu's Chop Suey. It used to be Silver Dragon Chop Suey. Once in a very great while, not too often, my grandma would come here for takeout, but I guess it's a different owner. And I think Fantastic Sam's used to be Tom McCann's Shoes. And GameStop used to be KB Toy Store. There used to be a phone here where you could just pick it up and a taxi would come. This Long's has been here forever. There used to be benches here. And the old Filipino grandmas would smoke their cigars backwards. Anybody remember that? All the ladies smoking cigars? That ended up being me, but I don't smoke them backwards. Yeah, so they took all the benches away. But people used to sit here and talk story, all the old kupuna. Over there, as we get closer, um, I can see it closer, but the camera looks far away. That Walgreens over there used to be Campbell. So if you're wondering why that restaurant's named Campbell, it is for their oxtail soup that used to be served at Campbell, and that was a bowling alley. They knocked it down to build a Walgreens. And that was a nice place that we used to go there when I worked here, when it was still here. They had the best breakfast that had cinnamon sugar toast. I remember that, and um, the oxtail soup was great. Also, my grandma came here once in a while to get something if she was lazy to cook, which is not very often, because she always cooked. But I remember she would have a box of oxtail soup to take home, because we live close by, but that was Campbell, and now it's Walgreens. Kamehameha Bakery has been making delicious pastries since 1978. They were originally located on North School Street in the building where the new Rainbow Drive-In in Kalihi is located. They're now located on Kalani Street on the old Gems property. This bakery is famous for their poi glazed donuts. Not quite a malasada, but has the perfect fluffy consistency and dipped in sugary sweet donut glaze. I'd pick this over a malasada any day. And don't forget, just because the poi glazed donut is awesome, they also offer other things, and their ensamada brings childhood memories. A delicious, soft, fluffy bread topped with soft, creamy butter and sugar. You can't go wrong. After having that poi glazed donut and the ensamada, there's nothing better to wash it down than some coffee. And just down the road on Kalani Street, is the famous Lion's Coffee. This coffee company has been in business since 1979 in Hawaii, but they got their start in Ohio in 1864. This is the location where they roast and package all of their coffees to their headquarters. You can also come to their cafe to sit down and drink coffee or to buy fresh coffees or coffee mugs, packaged coffees or other gifts at their gift shop. This is the Dillingham Shopping Center, and this is where my family would 
shop all the time. We used to buy our groceries from MJ's. Remember that? MJ's? And now it's Foodland. So next door to where MJ's was, we'll walk down past Foodland. This whole area that is um, empty, that used to be BJ's Furniture and the Marsh Company. Remember that company? Maybe I can find some old commercials of it. But um, that's super old school. But yeah, now it's a Foodland instead of MJ's. And down all the way where Savers was, was Pay and Save. Uh, I don't know if you remember that store too. If you cross the street from Foodland over there and come this way, this is a different shopping center. And this is the old Sizzlers. Look how sad it looks. This was the place to be back in the 70s and 80s. You would take your family for dinner and it was actually exciting. And then it really went downhill from there. It's like totally boarded up. It became Bob's big boy for a little bit. They wanted to relocate after their fire in Mapuna Puna, but um, it never did work. And they closed down. And you can see all the rail construction. It's terrible here on Dillingham. It is um, just total chaos. But if you go down here, this used to be the old um, Boulevard Simon shop and that also closed. You would get some authentic old school Simon here, but um, it's totally closed off as you can see. And nobody really took over. I think it became Dillingham Simon for a little bit, but it didn't last too long. In the same shopping complex where Burger King was, or is, um, this used to be the area of where Jolly Roger on Dillingham Boulevard used to be as well people remember that restaurant. There was one in Kahala, I believe. And um, over there is Popeyes. That that's also abandoned. This whole place is going to crap. Uh, they moved across the street where the old Bank of Hawaii is. So now that building's empty as well. If you go on the Kalihi Kai side of Kalihi Street, you will find the original Chanwa Cam, which is still here today. I remember they used to sell entrees to take home in those old Chinese takeout boxes and my grandmother also used to come here. This was before they got the idea to make plate lunches. You can still come here and get a delicious Manapua, baked or steamed. Down the street is where the old Libby's Manapua shop was located on Kalihi Street, literally a block away from Chunwa Cam. It is now abandoned after they abruptly closed up shop in 2019 without warning. I remember they sold Manapua and pork hash in their signature pink Manapua boxes. This is where the old Kalihi Shopping Center was that housed Kalihi Bowl, Foodland, and Kalihi Pet Center, to name a few shops. The shopping center was obviously torn down and is now New City Nissan and was torn down around 2005. I remember going to the Kalihi Pet Center often to buy fish and mice as pets and going grocery shopping once in a blue moon at Foodland. Across the street is the new Mitsukin. The original one was located on North School Street near Pohaku Street. And across the way to the right of the New City Nissan was the old Leong's Cafe that served authentic Hawaiian food. Nearby on Middle Street was Love's Bakery. Sometimes you could smell the freshly baked bread and donuts from the H1 freeway. Love's Bakery closed in 2021 after 170 years of being in business. And this is what is left of the bakery. This shopping center, we came here a lot when I was a kid. There's Zippy's Dillingham. We used to dine in and I remember the meals that you would get as a kid at the end, you get either chocolate pudding or jello. No longer do they do that anymore. I remember walking into the dining room over there. This is the takeout area. There was a machine that sold cigarettes. If you just put coins inside, that's super old school. Um, over there where the Egghead Cafe is now, I showed that in a different video, it used to be Violet's Cafe, 
Anybody remember that? Over there, all along here, they separated it into different shops. Before Palama Supermarket was here, they moved. It was Time Supermarket. I remember coming here to shop for groceries with my mom and dad. So all over here was all times, and now they separated it into different shops. Not many shops though rent here, it's all empty. And here where Ahi and Vegetable is, is where Young's Fish Market moved to for a little bit before moving across the street. They moved here at the time from Liliha Street, where Jane's Fountain is. They used to be over there, that's their original location. The only original things here are the laundromat here, and I believe the shoe repair has been here for a long time but everything else is pretty much new, um, except Zippy's. Everything's gone. Violet's Grill's gone, Times, Palama Supermarket left. So yeah, this is the little shopping center. If you ever shopped here as a kid or when you were a young adult, put it in the comments below. Across the street is where I spent a lot of time because my grandmother loved to go there almost every day. It drove me nuts. Gems. Gems was the beginnings of a big department store, sort of like Walmart or Don Quixote. Uh, they had clothing, a grocery store. Times moved from here across the street to Gems, so they had Times in here too. It was a huge property, and it still is the original building. They had hardware, yard stuff, toys, clothing, all kind of stuff. So Gems was the thing back in the day. And then they went out of business once um, all the big name shops like Walmart and stuff came in. We'll go across the street and check it out. So this whole area, the city square it's called now, used to be Gem. So this is a huge area. And I remember that that was all the parking over here used to be like a garden center. And now it's a Chuck E. Cheese and there's a marketplace in there. And um, I believe it's almost like a Chinatown thing where they sell fish and produce. And that used to be the Gems building. It looks a little smaller now that I'm an adult, but as a kid, it's huge. On the end there used to be um, where a barber was, I believe. You could come in that side and the front side. That's like the, used to be the DMV or something like that, but it moved to the Costco area now. But now they've separated it into all different shops. What I wanted to show is Kalihi Pet Center. I'll go there at the original location later, but that was at the Kalihi Shopping Center. That's now the new city Nissan. And uh, that moved here. So I'm glad it was there because that's where I got all my pets, little mice and things like that and fish over there. If you go down there, that's where Young's Fish Market is and Cam Bakery. But let's walk into this marketplace. Actually, to be honest, I've never walked in here, never had an interest to go in here, but maybe they'll change my mind. I guess you could come in here and it has that Chinatown feel without dealing with Chinatown parking because you got all this parking over here, but it's pretty full even though the lot's pretty big. It definitely smells like Chinatown. It's got a very strong fishy smell here, but you got all this produce. Wow, look at that, very fresh. Got some okra, bit of Maryland, eggplant, all the stuff for pinok bit. Banana flower. Over here, looks like there's fish, akule. Oh wow, look at that. Big fish, clams, ahi, salmon. Tape. Uhu. Then you got some weird stuff. Speaking of weird stuff, at PNP Market, I noticed, I remember there was always weird, awful for sale, like liver and heart and stuff. Some people like that in their cuisine, uh, but I remember seeing it and being freaked out when my grandma used to take me there. But yeah, there's all kind of um, ethnic foods here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's pretty much all the same. All fresh fish and vegetables. Very interesting. To be honest, it's kind of sad to see the old gems that way. Um, 
gems was super huge. There was one in Waipahu where the Don Quixote is or is not going to be anymore. They're knocking that down soon for housing. And uh, there was one where the Ohana Hale Marketplace was or a sports authority, however you want to remember it. That was knocked down for a condo. So there was three gems stores here uh, on Oahu. So, ah, well, all those days are gone. But if you remember gems, I'm sure you had fond memories too. And it's so huge in there that Times was in there. And here's a throwback. Um, do you remember the bingo game that Times used to have? Next to Zippy's Dillingham was Classic Bowl. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't want to trespass, but this used to be Classic Bowl and now it's a car lot. So there's all these cars in my way. But that was the front of the bowling alley. And um, anybody remember that one? And then it turned into a church and now like I said, it's a car sales lot for used cars. There's a glimpse of Dillingham and how messed up it is. We'll go around the other side to the back. Behind the bowling alley was a old Japanese classic restaurant named Ideta's. They had the best sushi and sashimi in my opinion, uh, but they knocked it down and now it is this lot right here that shares the car lot with Classic Bowl that way. But it used to be around here and also on this side where it's empty. And it just had an unpretentious atmosphere where you didn't have to dress up, but you'd get sort of the best and freshest sashimi and sushi. And I remember when you sat down inside, you smelled the old wood from the building. But now this is pretty much it with the Mr. Pigeon over here. Just an empty lot shared with a bunch of derelict cars, really sad. Um, they tore it down in 2013, so not that long ago. But um, let me know if you remember Ideta's Japanese restaurant. We're on King Street here, and that's the famous diners. It's been there forever. I wanted to point out some things that maybe some people would remember. Um, my mom used to take me to that Pizza Hut here. That was a treat for a personal pan pizza. Now they sell um, little JDM cars. Over here used to be um, plantation-like buildings that were painted in green, and that is around here where the original Helena's Hawaiian food was. On the corner there on Hoftailing used to be an old shell station, and in the back there, all back there was like grass and plantation homes. My friend from McKinley used to live there right before they tore everything down to build Honolulu Ford. And then we'll walk down here. This whole place, even though you can see, I don't know, this camera is a little bit wide angled, so it's kind of smaller. You can see Honolulu back there, downtown, all the high rises. So we're kind of on the edge of town this little strip has been here forever and it's always got like those shady bars that change names all the time this is the Kapalama post office and this is the bus stop I used to catch as a kid but I don't think it's a bus stop anymore I don't see the shelter anymore and I don't see a sign that it's a bus stop but the number one used to come through here I catch it to school um, if I didn't go to Pohaku Street to take the number two and I was lucky if somebody could drop me off here, I would just take the number one instead of transferring. And of course, the famous Palace Simon. I did a thing over there and a little bit down there is Toshi's. So um, a very nostalgic place. You can see some of these plantation buildings that I'm talking about. Some of them still stand here today. So that's what the old Helena's kind of look like, but a little bit wider of a building. But this is King Street. And I hope that YouTube keeps these videos throughout time, even if I stop doing these. Because sometimes you see, like recently, there's a guy that was filming some old school things all over the island, Pearl City and Kalihi, Aiea, Waipahu. And he was using a video camera from the 90s. And it's interesting to watch them today and see all the changes that have been made. So hopefully 
There are no changes, but if things change, you can see what it looked like before. I forgot, right on the corner here of Hoff Tailing, this little bright turquoise building. Also, some of the old plantation-style wooden homes that used to be across over here. So some of them still stand today, and some people live in there, and there's some shops downstairs. And I wanted to also point out one more thing. Hanyang over here is one of the first Korean restaurants that you could sit down before they even had a yummies. Um, my mom used to eat here because she's from Korea and they were the only place you could get Korean food in the 70s and early 80s I believe, late 70s anyway. But it is still here. Different owners though I heard. But they kept the name and now it's a yakiniku. Before they didn't have that kind of stuff. It was just a sit down restaurant and they made your food. But um, now it's all you can eat Korean food. But still standing here today is Hanyang. All right, I'm walking down King Street. We're going to go to a famous place called Ray's Cafe. Ray's Cafe is a famous hole in the wall. It's all the rage lately. To be honest, I haven't filmed it because I'm super spoiled and ate here way too often because I'm from Kalihi and also worked for a long time in Kalihi. Ray's is owned by Uncle Felix, who's the greatest cook. He cooks prime rib with lobster and crab legs, rack of lamb, delicious fried chicken, and I love his oxtail stew. Today I got Uncle Felix's ribeye because the prime rib was sold out. Comes with asparagus, a side salad, mac if you wish, and rice. Parking's difficult to find, but you'll find a way when you taste Uncle Felix's food. Right down the road from Ray's is the original Na Ding's Bakery, located on Gulick Avenue. It is famous for their Spanish rolls and other Filipino pastries. They've done so well there that there are multiple locations in Kapuhulu Avenue and in Waipahu as well. They're famous for their Spanish rolls, which are hot, soft, and slathered with butter and sugar. If you're ever in the area, definitely buy a box of them. And while you're there, you might as well get a ube pound of salt. Unfortunately, I couldn't get one today because they were all sold out. And if you can't afford a box of Spanish rolls, they sell them by the singles for only 60 cents each. This building on the corner of North School Street and Hoff Tailing halls the original Kamehameha Bakery and Ambassador Market. Remember the old mama working the front of the market? And we used to grab ice cream there, like ice cream sandwiches or drumsticks to eat from her store. I remember her son wore a white apron and was in the back butchering meat. The store offered produce, fresh butchered meats, dried goods, candy, and frozen foods. And there was a, also a Chinese restaurant next door to it in the corner. And upstairs used to be a banquet hall. And you couldn't miss this building because right on the corner there was a big king crab sign. But they took it down. And they hung it on top of the building. And across the way is the 76 gas station and it's one of the only gas stations on Oahu that does full service gas where they pump your gas, check your oil, and wipe down your windows. And it's been here for ages. On the corner there where Rainbow Drive-In is, is where that Chinese restaurant used to be and they had a fire. And over there was Cam Bakery where the Dragon Tea area is and the steakhouse. And I remember there used to be a hole in there where you could drive in and they got rid of that driveway. You could drive to the back of the parking lot, which I will show you. And this was the back parking lot, still is for this building, but in the back here where Rainbow Drive-In is, was the entrance to Ambassador Market. And when you entered this way, you could see the uh, lady's son chopping up the butchered meat in the back. And over here, somewhere around here, there never was this um, bottom portion. There was a hole here you could drive through and come to the back 
and Cam Bakery was somewhere on this side. This is the famous Tamashiro Market off of King Street and Palama Street. Its famous crab sign hangs above the storefront with its pink paint. Tamashiro Market has been selling fresh seafood, poke, and produce since 1947 in the same location. Did you know it actually started in 1941 in Hilo? The Tamashiro family moved their business to Oahu after the tsunami of 1946 destroyed Hilo. In my humble opinion, if you're looking for traditional, no frills, no new wave sauced poke, this is the best poke place. It is the most authentic and fresh Hawaiian style poke you will ever find on Oahu. And I thought I'd end the video at San Island Park. This park is located in San Island, which is in Kalihikai. It used to be nicer in its heyday. It's a little bit trashed compared to years prior. But the view of Honolulu and Aloha Tower never changed. So I'll leave you with this beautiful view and thank you for watching the video. If you have your own memories and you're from Kalihi, feel free to share your memories in the comment section below. And please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week. Aloha.